Hey, it's Clan. This will be a video chart on ticker symbol HCR. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame and has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today, not only from the price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some areas of support, then we can talk levels of resistance. So the first level of support is what I would call the ideal level. I mean, if you say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price can stay up there above $2.40. Now don't get me wrong, if the price falls below 240, I'm not saying the entire chart is destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that level, that would certainly be a big sign of power going forward. Next level of support after that would be down here at this previous breakout point, and that sits right around $2.25. So 240 and then 225, two of the near-term levels. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the famous 50 period simple moving average comes into play on my chart right there being denoted by the purple line. Keyword being moving. So as the week plays out, that line's gonna continue to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move that right there being defined as the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above 240, that would be great, but as far as the big picture is concerned, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance? As far as where the sellers are at, Main level right there up at 255, and that's just the area where the price tried to several times today to get through there, couldn't quite do it. Uh, that actually makes perfect sense. Now going back through the history of things, why did I show that? Well, you go back here and you can see that general area rejected the price, rejected the price, rejected the price, and then once again rejected the price. So not saying 255 can't be broken, I'm just saying it makes that much more sense now why the price was rejected up at that area. So there we go. I realize the chart's hard to see here, but that's a good problem to have when you have to go back this far into the chart's history. So if 255 can be broken, the next key overall level to keep an eye on gonna be right up there around $2.70. On all, all though, anyway, look at it. Great movement today, great volume. Not just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward. We will see. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.